In this video, I'm going to show you some ways that I customize my Chromebook so that all of my favorite tools are always within reach in a moment's notice. The first thing that uh, you'll notice at the top of my screen are my tabs. Um, tabs can be easily organized, but my favorite thing to do is to pin the tabs that I use most frequently. And for me, that's Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Calendar. So what I do is I'll open those tabs up, I'll right click on the tab and select pin, and that will squash the tab down, slide it all the way to the left. It also removes the little X uh, from the tab so that I can't accidentally close it. So I always have those three tabs pinned. They're always there. I know always, always know right uh, where to find them. Next, let's move on down to my bookmarks bar. You'll see across the top here where the bookmarks are kept um, that my bookmarks are a little bit different than yours may be. Um, I'm using a little trick, super easy to do, where I am uh, just using the favicon, that's the little picture for every website to identify the bookmarks rather than the long name. So for example, if I were to bookmark this tab right here by clicking the star icon, it's going to leave that full description there on the um, bookmark and it's not going to fit on the page. Now this one is a Google Doc, so it has the Google Doc symbol and if I can remember what that is, I can go ahead and edit the bookmark, delete the name, just leave the name of the bookmark blank and now I can recognize that simply by the picture and I can get more bookmarks on my bookmarks bar. So that's another little trick that I use to uh, customize the Chrome browser. Right above uh, my bookmarks, I have my Chrome extensions. Um, and I have a lot of Chrome extensions installed, but I try to only use or have active a few, the ones that I use on a regular daily basis. Um, Chrome extensions can consume a lot of system resources, and so you want to minimize uh, the number that you have running. To do this, I use an extension called Extension Manager so that I can easily turn on and off extensions that I'm not using. So I don't really need Mercury Reader right now, so I'll turn that one off. Um, and that just helps me keep things clean so I don't have too many extensions running. Next, let's go down to the bottom of the screen on the shelf. Um, I like to pin apps that I use on a regular basis. So uh, the Chrome browser, Google Keep, and Files app are the three that I use most frequently. And I have some common ones that I use a lot, Adobe Spark, uh, Pixlr, Canva. Those are some graphic design image editors uh, that I use on a regular basis. This is kind of an extension of the bookmarks bar because, again, there's a finite amount of space up there and then also down here on the shelf. So I use both um, to make content that I use or access regularly always within reach. The last thing I'll show you is the apps that I have. So when I click on the uh, circle and open the app launcher, um, you'll see the apps. Now I have a tremendous uh, number of apps. I do a lot of research and exploration of these tools. And so one of the things I do to keep them organized is to create folders. So here are a whole collection of graphic design apps um, that I have. So if you ask me, hey, I need a tool for this, I probably have something and I can easily look for it. Uh, creating a folder is uh, real easy to do. Just like on your phone, you're going to just grab an app, drop it on top of another one. That will make the folder. And then you can go in and give it a name. Study apps, something like that. Uh, you can move your apps and rearrange them uh, as well, similar to what you would do on your phone. Those are a couple of customization tips uh, for your Chromebook. Uh, I hope those are helpful and uh, allow you to access your content more quickly and easily.